Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another commentary by everybody's favorite commentator, as a manga doll fan. Now, I don't know if some of you are aware of this or not, but when I was growing up, I was a huge Pokemon fan. In fact, I was practically obsessed with the franchise. But then again, I was raised around the time where Pokemon was still a big phenomenon in America, so it's basically part of my childhood. And the reason why I bring this up is because I found a video on the subject made by DC Comic Book Boy is back, aka Dave. And basically, he made a rant on the new Pokemon movie called Genesect and the Legend Awakened. And even though I've never made a rant before in my life, I can bet you that I could do a better job than him. So, with that said, let's dive right in. Hey guys, what's up? It's Dave here from International Gamers, and I'm actually not making a video right now on any games. This is more a rant by me on a movie. Um, I am a big Pokemon fan. Anybody that knows me knows that. Uh, I basically grew up with it. I've played all the original games, red, blue, and yellow. Never bothered to get any further because I really only like the originals. Um, I pretty much know the original games, just like the back of my hand, and I know a lot of the movies, and I have the first eight seasons of Pokemon on my computer. So I know, I definitely know my fair share about Pokemon. I've also seen all the movies. And I recently, because it was released today or a few days ago, not sure which, but I recently started watching the new Pokemon movie, Pokemon, uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of the title. Damn. Yeah, you know this rant's off to a good start when the person making the rant can't even remember the topic they're going to rant on, despite the fact that it's located in the goddamn title of the video. Uh, Pokemon, the 16th movie, Genesect and the Legend Awakened, which we had all been waiting for because, you know, here, there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this video, so don't watch this if you don't want me to spoil anything. But here's my first rant, and this is where the spoilers begin. Mewtwo can freaking evolve and he can control it. And so can Houndoom with the Mega Evolutions in Pokemon X and Y. I mean, come on, is this really a big shock to you? Especially considering how the Pokemon movies were, GASP, always based on the Pokemon games? Though, I am still waiting for a Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness movie. As if Mewtwo wasn't powerful enough already, you give him an evolved form where he can teleport and fly like, faster than the speed of light? This might be a minor issue, but I saw the movie, and I'm pretty sure that so-called faster than the speed of light claim was implied during the movie. And also, according to Wikipedia, it says that it can fly at high speeds. And maybe if you showed us a single clip from the movie that backs up this statement, then I could understand where you're coming from. Otherwise, I find it really hard to take your word alone for it. Really? Really? On top of that, there's these new Pokemon that were apparently extinct for 300 million years. So basically they're, you know, dinosaurs to us. Um, and they show up, and they, they were cloned, just like Mewtwo, from Pokemon fo fossils. Oh gee, you mean like in every single other Pokemon game? And also, for a person who claims to be a big Pokemon fan, you sure are getting pretty pissed off at things that really shouldn't surprise you all that much. But here's my other rant. These Pokemon are insanely overpowered. It's stupid beyond relief. I think the word you're looking for is belief, not relief. This is why you might want to invest in a dictionary. And then on top of that, here is the biggest complaint I have about this movie. It's like Pokemon the first movie never happened. Mewtwo has a new voice. Sounds like a freaking seven-year-old doesn't sound badass at all. On top of that, Pika they just they act like the movie never even happened. Pokemon the first movie never happened. Well, yes, you could say that, but unlike you, I actually managed to do research and I found out that the reason why this Mewtwo sounds different is because this is an entirely different Mewtwo from the one that appeared previously in Pokemon the first movie. And next time, when you're gonna make a rant on a movie, please do your research beforehand. Unless there's two Mewtwo's, which I highly doubt that for one Mewtwo could find a way to give birth or multiply or even, you know, they act like the first movie never happened. Ash doesn't recognize Mewtwo. 
Mewtwo doesn't recognize Ash. Pikachu doesn't recognize Mewtwo. Mewtwo doesn't recognize Pikachu. It just sort of comes out of nowhere. Now, I'll admit, I stopped the movie about halfway through because I was getting too pissed off at all these new things. Oh, so that's why you have little to no knowledge about what you're ranting on. It was in the season as well. I'm not that far into watching the season, so I don't know if Charizard's been back for a while or not. I'm guessing he's been back for a while, though. Okay, guys, Evidence 101, if you're going to refer to an event or character in a show with more than one or two seasons, especially if you're talking about a show like Pokemon, then you need to specify which season it is, otherwise it's just going to confuse the audience even more in terms of what you're talking about. But, on top of that, the first movie never happened. Mewtwo hates humans. When the first movie ended, Mewtwo learn to love and live with humans. Ladies and gentlemen, I shit you not, the last part of this video is nothing but him repeating the exact same complaints that he previously stated without adding anything else. So I'm gonna end the video here and skip right to the final thoughts. Well, first off, I don't consider this to be a rant. You see, I think this is more of a poorly made review, but even that's a bit of a stretch because all he does throughout the entire video is complain about things that have little to no impact on the film's quality, like Mewtwo's new evolution stage. On top of that, he bluntly states in the video that he only saw half of the movie because he claimed it was quote-unquote bad. Now, I'm not saying that you can't dislike a film. What I am saying is that even with a movie like Cyberbully, which I consider to be extremely atrocious, I at least watched it all the way through so I could know what the faults were and why this is not such a great film. And plus, I also did a bit of research on it as well, which is another thing he never seems to do. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Azamanga Dalfan signing out.